last video we discussed the conformation of ethane in this video we will do the conformation of propane free rotation is very important in conformational isomerism that is a sigma covalent bond undergoes free rotation at room temperature for example you have a single bond between carbon and carbon and this undergoes free rotation but if you take this one where you have a double bond the rotation is restricted so whenever you have a restricted rotation geometrical isomerism is possible and this i have discussed in the earlier video i will give the link in the description box to go through it so whenever you have a free rotation between carbon carbon single bond the conformational isomerism is possible this free rotation is allowed in nitrogen nitrogen single bond oxygen oxygen single bond and nitrogen oxygen single bond so we can say that the isomerism which arises due to free rotation of carbon carbon single bond is called as conformational isomerism and the isomers are called as conformers for example you take this one ethane molecule you fix one carbon and rotate the other carbon in newman projection formula we will be getting infinite number of forms but all the forms we cannot count only certain forms whose energy is less or more we can count so if you see here you will be getting these forms and these forms you will be getting at particular angle for example you take 0 degree where these two hydrogens are very close to each other all these things i have discussed in the earlier video so these two hydrogens are very close to each other therefore they are there is a high strain or discomfort in the molecule because the electrons of this hydrogen will repel the electrons of this hydrogen and that is what we call it as electronic strain or torsional strain and also the van der waals radii of this hydrogen intersect with the van der waals radii of this hydrogen therefore there will be a van der waals strain so due to this strains this molecule will be experience a high discomfort so the potential energy of this molecule is very high so when you see the potential energy diagram here the potential energy is very high for this molecule at 0 degree and this is what we call it as eclipsed form now you fix the front carbon rotate the back carbon when you rotate the potential energy decreases and it decreases until it reaches minimum value at 60 degree at 60 degree we are getting this form where the potential energy is minimum because there is no van der waals strain and there is no torsional strain because all the groups are very far away and this form is highly stable whose potential energy is less minimum and this form is called a staggered form similarly when you rotate from this 60 degree the back carbon by fixing the front carbon the potential energy again increases and it reaches this value maximum value where you are getting this form at 120 degree and here the hydrogens are eclipsed with each other and here the potential energy of this form is very high and this is highly unstable form and from here when you rotate the potential energy decreases likewise you will be getting so at 180 degree you will be getting again staggered form so here we are going to discuss important terms one is the conformational energy and it is otherwise called as rotational energy barrier it is defined as the potential energy difference between the conformational and potential energy minima and maxima here when you take here this is the potential energy minimum here the potential energy maximum the gap between these two that is what we call it as conformational energy and this energy this value is equal to 12.6 kJ per mole next important term is dihedral angle it is defined as the interfacial angle between the groups attached to two bonded atoms here when you see two hydrogens this hydrogen is attached to this carbon this hydrogen is attached to this carbon so the angle between these two that is what we call it as dihedral angle here it is 0 degree here this hydrogen this hydrogen the angle between these two because this hydrogen is attached to the front carbon this hydrogen is attached to the back carbon so the interfacial angle between these two that is what we call it as dihedral angle here it is 60 degree here it is 120 degree here it is 180 degree the angle between these two so 180 degree so 180 degree we are getting a staggered form so 0 degree 120 degree and 240 degree we are getting eclipsed form and 60 degree 180 degree and 300 degree we are getting staggered form so this is about dihedral angle we have conformation of propane propane is ch3 ch2 ch3 in human projection formula we can write like this and this dot represent this carbon with ch3 and two hydrogen CH3 and two hydrogen the circle represents 
this carbon with three hydrogen so you have one two three hydrogen now this form is with a dihedral angle zero degree here the ch3 and hydrogen they are very close to each other they are very eclipsed with each other so what will happen the electrons of this group repel the electrons of this group and this we call it as electronic strain or torsional strain or eclipsed strain so it is defined as the electronic repulsion between the bonded pairs of electrons of two adjacent eclipsed bonds so due to this strain there is a high discomfort in the molecule and again the van der waal radii of this group and the van der waal radii of this group will intersect with each other that is what we call it as van der waal strain so it is the repulsion between the groups attached to two adjacent atoms that means the van der waal radii of this group will intersect with the van der waal radii of this group therefore there is a high strain in the molecule that is what we call it as van der waal strain so due to torsional strain and van der waal strain there is a high discomfort in the molecule so the potential energy of the molecule is high when you see the potential energy diagram at 0 degree we have high potential energy and we have this form here with very high potential energy and this form is what we call it as eclipsed form which is highly unstable now you fix the front carbon rotate the back carbon the potential energy decreases and it reaches this value that is minimum value at 60 degree so at 60 degree you will be getting this form where all the groups are very far away so the torsional strain and van der waal strain will not be there so it will be less therefore the potential energy is minimum and this form is highly stable and this is what we call it a staggered form again when you rotate from this form when you rotate so from 60 degree when you rotate the potential energy increases and it reaches this value at 120 degree so at 120 degree we are getting this form where ch3 and hydrogen they are eclipsed and here these two are eclipsed so there this we are getting eclipsed form so here this potential energy is very high because there is a torsional strain and van der waal strain so due to this strain there is a high discomfort in the molecule therefore the potential energy is very high again when you rot rotate to 60 degree there is a decrease in the potential energy and it reaches a minimum value at 180 degree you will be getting this form where the ch3 and hydrogen they are very far away from each other all the groups are very far away so we are getting a stable form called as staggered form where there is no strain that is van der waal strain torsional strain will not be there or will be very less from this we are when you rotate what will happen at 240 degree you are getting this one where the potential energy is maximum we are getting eclipsed form again when you rotate you are getting this form where the potential energy is minimum we are getting a staggered form because all the groups are very far away so there is no strain in the molecule so these are the forms we are getting when you rotate the back carbon by fixing the front carbon so we can say that at 0 degree at 120 degree and at 240 degree we are getting eclipsed form at 60 degree and 180 degree and 300 degree we are getting staggered form so when you have a high potential energy the molecule is unstable so the eclipsed form is unstable but staggered form where the potential energy is minimum so it's a stable form conformational energy of this propane this conformational energy here it is 13.8 kJ per mole which is greater than the conformational energy of ethane this is because in propane we have hydrogen and ch3 they repel each other but here in ethane we have hydrogen hydrogen repulsion these groups are very small but here the ch3 is a bulky group therefore the strain will be more in this propane molecule therefore the conformational energy is greater so when you see here the energy e1 is taken as the conformational energy of propane e2 is taken as the conformational energy of ethane when you find out the difference you will be getting 1.2 so the 1.2 kilojoule energy is greater in the case of propane compared to ethane so this is about the conformational energy and when you see here in the torsional strain in the eclipsed form the torsional strain will be very high because the groups are very close to each other but in the staggered form the torsional strain is equal to zero so here at 60 degree 180 degree 300 degree torsional strain will be equal to zero similarly in the van der waal strain 
in the eclipsed form the van der Waals strain is maximum because they are very close to each other so van der Waals radii they will intersect with each other but the staggered form the van der Waals strain will be minimum but you have in between these two form you have gauge form where the van der Waals strain will be intermediate so this about uh, prepping thank you for watching